this evening is none other than Mr. Solomona Ainga Mawa. Please give him a round of applause. Tally right up this way. And Solomona is going at auction 200 and... <laughs> Mahalo, Solomona, thank you so much. And his female colleague this evening is none other than Ms. Faith Toilolo Afu. A big round of applause for her. And so I won't go any further than that. I'll definitely turn over the mic to them at this time. Talofa Lava, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second annual Miss Samoa Hawaii pageant. If I tell of our Tulipa Ia, Mamalo Samoa Walfia, Tupu Mai Eola Tinu, Susunga Fafia Nanga, Faletua Matosi, Little Poinga Mamalo La Tinu, Samoa Wopoto Poto. Ma lole fo lau manuia, ma lole soi fo maua. Olivi inga ma le fa'ne e tanga i le tatou a li'i, ma le tatou fa'o. Ma le oa ma faia i ona tatou maua le nei feilo a inga fia fia. O pa ia ma ma malu a le a so, pa ia o le a tunu'u, o le a nu'u watu ia i fale u polu o tofinga. Awa la to matafa i o i tausi lea. Upu ma sani o lea tinu'u, o lo ta lima i pa i a i lo ta mata. O na whaapea lea o se tua lalo. A vea ia lo leo whaatau wa'a, e mo moli a tuai lea nga nga whaafetai, ma le whaa ma lo, i le teo wa fifi o mai, ma tala mai a au, lea ua ma walu ngai le nei whaa moe moe ma le tatau wa fifi. At this time, we would like to call up Haramoni to open us up with no ta nu'u.
How about another big round of applause for Harmony? Before we begin this evening, I will allow me the opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Solomon Ingamoa. I come from the beautiful village of Leone, America, Samoa. Here with me this evening, as your Masters of Ceremony, is my beautiful colleague, former Miss American Samoa 2005, the lovely Faith Toilolo Afu. Greetings and talo from my beautiful Samoa. I stand before you this evening as a proud Tamaitai from the villages of Pavaya'i and Fangatongo, America, Samoa. It is an honor and a privilege to be here tonight as we bring to you the Miss Samoa Hawaii Pageant 2021. The Miss Samoa Hawaii was revived in July of 2019 under the leadership and direction of Lea Fionga Yamanu Samoa Henry Andrew Satsuraka. The organization is a 501c3 nonprofit under its larger umbrella, LOA, also known as Lelinga Oainga. LOA's mission is to serve the Samoan communities by perpetuating and preserving Samoan language, arts, and cultural traditions. LOA has been in existence since June of 2015. Its byproduct, the Miss Samo Hawaii, is a platform that was created for young Samoan women. It allows these young women the opportunity to reconnect with their Samoan heritage and culture and a chance at being the ambassador for all Samoans residing in the state of Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, Lea Fionga, Manu Samoa, Henry Andrew Satsuraka. At this time, we would like to call upon Reverend Tafale Fuiava to lead us in prayer. Good evening. O te saumai falea sao, manua. I'm from the village of falea sao, manua. God is good. <laughs> For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. A wa ufa pe lavo na lufa maiule tua lelo langi, we are my yellow Natalie Pele taught us in a yellow fano set us if I took two or yard to you. More yellow life of a bug. I have this amazing opportunity to congratulate all the young ladies who are contestants here tonight. If you can hear me, all of you are ambassadors of what is good and great about our Samoan culture whether you hold the title or not. But you know, every culture is different. Our culture and our way is for sure different. But without God, it's just another culture. My challenge and encouragement to you tonight is to represent Samoa. Not Samoya, not Samoan, not Somalia, but Samoan, Samoa. Can everybody say it? Samoa. Represent our families, our parents, our culture, and especially our God. And when you represent, represent well. We are a people of faith in nothing and no one but God. Trust him. Honor him, and he will do the same for you. He will bless you abundantly, 
and he will honor you. I pray that all of you enjoy tonight and every day after tonight. But I would like to remind you that the title is a plus. It gives you a bigger platform. But every day that God gives you, it's an opportunity to represent. God is good. Blessings upon the judges tonight. God bless the parents. I know you're nervous. God bless everyone. Blessings upon law and this organization. It all starts from the family, folks. Thank you for putting this event together for these young ladies. May God be glorified now and forever through our lives. Manuel nei fat singa a mata ele a tua le nei fat singa mai e toi fa i wina la na fiu tama o mato pot pot mo li mau le nei fa mo mo e wo leva no fa wa o fa po ta penanga wo leva no fa i nei mato te talo i le nganga fa aftai wo mato wo li mai fa fo i la i o le vi inga i a te oi fa aftai matua Aftai le loa, fa aftai a ilato uma lava, fa foi ina le nei fa moe moe um foi ona mato oli a mai, ta to uma lau fio le nei fiafi, manui a i fua fua nga uma. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O te tal tonu o lea o uma nea o na fau tu ngā tangi le fina ngā lo lea tu e le nea i a fia fi. Fa tai a tu lo sunga na fa fia ngainga ta fa le fui awa ma le fale tua. I a lo fale tua fa fua lua pea lua soi fua. A o lua fia ngai ma le tau singa o le ngā lue ngā lea tua. Fa tai. And with that being said, a few reminders this evening. We have our audience present and online. Please be respectful via comments and conduct throughout the duration of the pageant. For those of you who are present, please be sure to keep your masks on at all times unless consuming water as permitted by the venue and by state regulations. As a courtesy to our contestants, please remain seated while categories are in progress. Smoking is prohibited on the premises. Well, Faith, I think we're, re we're about ready to get the ball rolling. Well, I don't know, Mona. I think we should do a vibe check. Just get a little bit of a crowd participation, right? To see if they're here or not, or if you're ready for a great show ahead of us, okay? Mili, 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 mili. Say mili, mai. Mili, mai. Mili, 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 mili. Patsia. Patsia. Lua patsmareo. Hey, hey! Thank you. Okay, I think everybody's ready, Mona. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and help me welcome to the stage your 2021 Miss Samoa Hawaii contestants.
my Sua and Afia family, and they're also fellow funny club. And I'm your contestant, number one. Buff tie. My name is Zoe Vamanino Pomele. I'm 18 years of age and I hail from the beautiful cities of Kalihi and Ever Beach, Hawaii. I'm your contestant number two and I'm proudly sponsored by Ngafatasi Creations and Original Style, Papatai. Aloha! My name is Saraya Matalasi Nahi Enaena Ke Aloha. I'm 19 years old. I was born in Oahu and raised in Waipahu. The two beautiful villages that I represent is Nuuli and Aasu. And tonight I am sponsored from for my family and Jeremiah. And I'm your contestant number three. On our 
of our judges, family and friends, and guests. Talo falava ile po ia malem malu le o pata pata mai le ne afiafi. My name is Asofa Fitai November Timoteo. I am 22 years of age and I hailed from the beautiful village of Fangatongo. I am proudly sponsored by Solid Tribe 808 and Solid Tribe Dub Nation Car Club. Thank you. And I hail from the beautiful villages of Pangopango, Leonge, Falealupo, and Laoli'i. I am 18 years of age. Last but never the least, I am your contestant number five. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Your five contestants this evening for the Miss Samoa Hawaii pageant 2021. Faftai Lava. How about another great round of applause for your Miss Samoa Hawaii contestants and your current Miss Samoa Hawaii, Miss Zaina Vera Mualam. It is, looking like, it is looking as though the competition this evening will be a memorable, memorable one indeed. It sure is, Mona. Well, at this time, we would like to acknowledge our distinguished panel of judges. When we call your name, please rise. Our first judge this evening is the proud of the largest and longest running Polynesian company in the state of Hawaii. Tihati Productions runs 12 shows statewide, which includes over a thousand employees. She is the former chair of the Honolulu Police Commission and the co-founder of South Sea Christian Ministries, a member of the Hawaii Tourism Board and the proud wife of Mr. Tihati Thompson and mother of the Thompson family. She was given her Suafa Matai from the late Malia Tua Tanu Mafili. She has recently obtained the pleasurable title of great-grandmother. Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful Leafiona, Mrs. Awi Matangi, Charlene Shah, Kupua'a Thompson. Our next judge is a proud Laia girl and red rated for life. She was raised in Apia, Samoa and hails from the beautiful villages of Tanunga Manono, Falelaatai, Asau, and Safune. She spent her high school years at the Church College of Samoa and is a proud graduate of BYU Hawaii in travel and tourism management. She has been an employee at the Polynesian Cultural Center since 1978, a total of 43 years. She has served as an MC, cultural guide, brass band, and band member, and held countless management positions in guest service, sales, marketing, and theater. She is currently the Vice President of Cultural Presentations. She has served as the Masters of Ceremony at the We Are Samoa Festival and the World Fire Knife Competition, held annually at the Polynesian Cultural Center. Her involvement in the Samoan and Polynesian communities has earned her a seat at various Polynesian events. She served as the official English-speaking Masters of Ceremonies at the opening and closing of the Pacific Arts Festival in 1996. She is married to Sina Patsi Moe of Falinu America Samoa and is a proud mother of five and soon to be grandmother of nine. Ladies and gentlemen, Lea Fionga Tangaloa Tawa Delsa Atoa Moe. Our third judge this evening 
has been the senior culture ambassador at the Polynesian Cultural Center for the past 30 years. He is a graduate of Brigham Young University, where he received a degree in fine arts. He has been awarded the Star of Oceania Award from the University of Hawaii and is the PRBI International Cultural Representative for the University of Hawaii's Pacific Business Centers. He was featured as a speaker at Purdue University's TED Talks and did a virtual TED Talk for the Chicago Fire FC during the pandemic. Brought on by the Universal, uh, Universal Studios, judge number three has also been the Samoan cultural consultant and advisor to say Yuli Duane, The Rock Johnson. Aside from his extensive resume, he enjoys many outdoor activities. He is a strong believer in health and has been a pescatarian for the past 30 years. He loves to teach the art of Siva Afi and martial arts, holding a black belt in Taekwondo. He hopes to one day open a dojo and a culture art school in Samoa. He thanks his family, especially his mother, who was a widow for 40 years that raised 28 children. Wow. She taught him the rewards of discipline and hard work, as well as to love the Lord and put God and family first. Ladies and gentlemen, the most recognizable face, Mr. Patolo Pipi Cap Teo Tafiti. Our next judge was born and raised on the West Coast, Best Coast, Anaheim, California. She is of Samoan, Hawaiian, and Tongan descent. She is the current creative director of Nonosina Polynesia Dance Company, which started with her late and great grandmother, Estella Nonosina, Reed of Falinu Amer American Samoa. Located in Anaheim, California, Nonosina has trained and nurtured thousands of dancers and is a world-renowned dance company that has won multiple first and overall prizes in competitions around the world. Today, Nonosina celebrates 56 years since its start. Our fourth judge is a proud 2004 graduate of UCLA, obtaining multiple degrees in the arts. She is also a graduate of Lengafa, a program dedicated to leadership education through Nganganafa Samoa, she specializes in research, creation, and teaching of Ori Tahiti, and has dedicated her life to the art form. She studied extensively in Tahiti with mentors and experts, and participates in the Heiva i Tahiti. She has also served on the judging panel of the Ori Tahiti Nui World Championships. Well known for her choreography, she had earned the position of motion curator for D Disney's Moana. For the past 10 years, she was the featured choreographer on the Fox show, So You Think You Can Dance. She continues to dedicate her work to her ancestors, but most of all, to her grandmother who entered this world with nothing and became her everything. She leaves you with her favorite, Alanga Upu Teo Leva. Ladies and gentlemen, your fourth judge this evening is Tiana Liu Fao. Our final judge is a well-known Oahu designer. She fell in love with native and cultural arts at a very young age. She was inspired while watching her father sing, dance, and perform in the infamous Aila Oafi at the most prestigious show in Waikiki, Tihanti Productions. From her imagination, her pen, marker, and paintbrush stroked the sketch pad and oftentimes graced a simple napkin during kau kau time. She began to cut patterns on a screen, worked with her family carving boards, and painted on fabric while created one of one-of-a-kind pieces honoring the various Polynesian islands. After 20 years of a successful business with Missing Polynesia both in Hawaii and abroad, she decided to venture into real estate with Keller Williams Honolulu 
to educate our people in the hopes for them to one day become homeowners. She brings an extensive service resume to the table this evening, a master of ceremonies for the previous Miss Lilalele pageant, a radio personality on one of Hawaii's hottest radio stations, and a proud sponsor of various Polynesian events, promoting empowerment for all of our Polynesian communities. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm round of applause for Mrs. Maylin Vitale Vai. We would also like to acknowledge our two scrutineers, from, uh, Mr. Jordan Higa and Mr. Alex Wong. We would like to wish our panel of judges all the best this evening. It is going to be a difficult task, task ahead. Yamanwia Lalo Faiva, Faftai. On November 3rd, just two days ago, the young ladies were given the opportunity to share their platform and meet in a private gathering with the judges. This is a judge category known as the pre-pageant event. The pre-pageant event allows the judges the opportunity to meet one-on-one -on -one with each contestant, getting to know the contestants firsthand via question and answer portions as Talanoa sessions. Contestants were judged on overall first impression, personal platform, confident and commanding presence, validated opinion and responses, and exceptional communication skills. The highest score a contestant is able to receive per judge in this category is 35 points. Highest attainable points for this category is 175 points. This category has already been judged and the score sheets are in our scrutineers' hands. Ladies and gentlemen, we give to you a day at the beach with your Miss Samoa Hawaii. So we are. Our second category this evening is our sarong wear. The sarong phase of competition demonstrates the contestant's ability to maintain a healthy lifestyle of nutrition and physical fitness. The contestant's sense of confidence and presence must be considered. The following specifications must also be observed. Each contestant is allowed up to three yards of colored fabric designed to fit their vision. The fabric must be tied in a way that is practical beach wear without the use of buckles of any kind. No sewing is allowed in order to create the final sarong look. Contestants are judged upon the following. Overall first impression, creativity in the design of the original piece, lifestyle statement of strong physical health, walk, posture, and grace, sense of confidence, and composure. The highest score a contestant is able to receive per judge in this category is 20 points. Highest attainable score for this category is 100 points. Ladies and gentlemen, we give to you a day at the beach with your Miss Samoa Hawaii, Sawia. So you know, Faith, um, 
you know, about this sarong wear, you know, I got a story to tell you guys. So one day, you know, I'm at Leonge, you know, at the beach, just walking, just admiring the view. Then I see my mana mea. Ah, uh, fire cooling it, beach is Leonge. Okay, might not be a beach, but it's a pala. Okay, so I'm just walking. Then all of a sudden, I see this beautiful, I mean beautiful, beautiful girl just walking, hair is just flowing in the air. Her sarong wear, I can't really describe it because I don't know what to say what it is. And then I'm just looking there, just daydreaming. Then all of a sudden, I hear in the background, and I was just like, oh man. Okay, Dad, I'm on my way. And then you woke up. <laughs> wow, Faith. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together again and give the beautiful ladies. Let's welcome on stage. I guess the ladies are not ready, you know, with pageants. You know, the backstage is very stressful. You know, it's a lot of work. Um, why don't we give a big round of applause to our designers and all of our hair and makeup artists? You know, it's not an easy task, you know, getting all the girls ready for each category. So we'd like to acknowledge them and thank them as well. Okay, Faith, um, you know, as a former Miss, I just want to ask, um, you know, during this process, during, because you have the experience, what is one thing I know that the young ladies have to go through to prepare for this pageant? Oh, geez, Mona. They have to go through a lot. Um, for the most part, um, like I said earlier, you know, giving uh, uh, most acknowledgement to all the designers and the hair and makeup because all I do is just sit there and there's one fixing my hair, one fixing my makeup, everyone trying to make sure that my outfit is ready. But yeah, it's crazy in the back, you know, of the backstage, so yeah. That's one experience I'll never forget, so. And also right now, we'd like to uh, take this special time to acknowledge some of our special guests this evening. When we call your name, please rise. We have in the house tonight, Mr. Tihati Thompson, please rise for recognition. Everyone give a hand of applause for Mr. Tihati Thompson. And as we all know, Mr. Tihati Thompson is the owner of Tihati Productions. We have here tonight from the American Samoa Government Office, Tuyafono, Sua, what? and his lovely wife. I believe we have the infamous Mr. Josh Tatofi in the house tonight. If you can kindly rise, we would like to acknowledge you. Nope. Yes, he had another gig tonight, so <laughs> bear with us. <laughs> I think our young ladies are ready, so uh, here we go. Um. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back on stage your contestant number one, Miss Divine Mercy Suafia, with her sarong. Ladies and gentlemen, 
goddesses, Tema and Tilafenga. They swam the oceans to Fiti to learn the ancient knowledge of Tata, given by women, worn by women. On their journey back to Samoa, they emerged seasick and confused. And their story got reversed. When they reached Savai, they told that it was the men who got the tatao, the pea. But a tatao for women still survived. The man. of Taima and Tila Fainga, the essence of the Ina Ilao to my time. Infusing vibrant colors representing the adversity of being to Maitai Samoa. Adorned with seashells signifying the diversity of women empowerment. Tonight, Divine Sarong embodies the mana of Taima and Sila Fainga. The sunset yellow and deep turquoise blue colors depict the beautiful transitional landscape of the islands of Samoa. Transcending the strength of Taima, Tilafanga, and all Samoan women. Her headpiece is made of tifa shells and natural materials. Some of these materials were used by the Tinifu, who the Tufunga challenged. Divine is empowered by the strength of Taima and Tilafanga when faced with challenges and obstacles. This sarong was crafted and designed by Jalen T in American Samoa. Ladies and gentlemen, your contestant number one, Miss Divine Sua Asia. Gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for your contestant number one, Miss Divine Mercy Suafia. <laughs> Divine's accessories were designed and assembled in collaboration of the famous designers of the House of Medici and CSD Couture. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage contestant number two, Zoe. Vai Manino Pomele. Lavatashi Creation. Zoe by Manino Pomele steps on stage with a graceful full body customary Ye Lava Lava surround. She brings to you this evening a beautiful lime green Ye Lava Lava to show her love and support for mental health awareness. The color green is the international symbol or color for mental health awareness, which is Zoe's platform. Zoe's goal is to reach out to those who are in need of help and assistance with mental illness. Miss Lafatasi Creation Sarong is made of a mixture of colors and hand-printed perfection with beautiful national flowers that represents her nature, culture, heritage, roots, and identity. 
At the bottom and top neckline of a sarong is the yellow hibiscus, which is Hawaii's state national flower. It represents where she's from, born, raised, and resides. The red ginger tewila, which is Samoa's national flower, and the pandas tectorius ulafala, which is American Samoa's national flower, represents her roots and where her family is from. The beautiful villages of Moata's Apia Samoa and Tau and Fituta, Manuatele, American Samoa. Miss Ngafatasi's creation sarong is tied and twisted conveniently from the front towards the back to the side and around the neck, forming that comfortable and elegant swim, swimmer's attire. And of course, not to forget the fin that finishing touch of any Polynesian island beachwear is that beautiful handmade papala hat and the say auke hibiscus. Miss Zoe Vaimanino Pomele is now ready to hit the beautiful beaches of Hawaii Ne. Her beautiful sarong, designed and constructed by Tala Fatmausili Uli of Ngafatasi Creations Original Style. Once again, contestant number two, Zoe Vaimanino Pomele. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back on stage contestant number three for her sarong. Contestant number three for you this evening is wearing a lovely IELA with soft fern motif that brings the essence of our beautiful lush rainforest of Samoa to the stage tonight. These ferns are a reminder that beauty can be found in the most unlikely places as they can thrive anywhere. Just as our ancestors who traveled in the Vasa Pacifica and settled the rest of Polynesia. It sends a gentle message that we Samoans are strong and resilient with the ability to adapt wherever to go. Also that our faith in God is deeply rooted in our culture. The fern symbolizes new life and beginnings as well as we all navigate our way through life, it is important that we know our roots and where we come from to allow for growth and development in our ever-changing world and adapt to different environments as do the ferns which grow and thrive in different settings. The fern has been known to remove chemical pollutants in the atmosphere. This plant's ability to do so is as Sarai's efforts to help others in the community remove their negative lifestyle or habits to welcome them back into our communities as a LHS employee working with Hawaii home homeless issues. La Numea Mata or the two-tone color choice is a beautiful palette that reminds Saraya of Samoa lush forest and ferns that surround the Nuuli waterfalls in her family's village. The stones that shimmer on her piece represents the mist that sprays through the mountains from falls and rests on the ferns is a reminder to always shine even in your darkest times. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, your contestant number three, the beautiful Miss Soraya Kealoha. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for contestant number four, 
as of Aftai, November Timoteo. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number four, Sarongwe, is traditionally inspired by both natura, nature, and our deep blue sami, ocean. The green half of Miss Asofaf Thai, Sarongwe, represents our Samoan ties with our plantations and harvest goods. Thoroughly painted on the other half of Asofaf Thai is our Fatuanga, or plantation, which plays an important role in a Tamai Thai Samoan's livelihood. Her strength as a Samoan woman is to grow local healthy and nutritious good to provide for her family, ensuring her strength as a woman, not needing a male figure to depend on. The blue feature of Asusak Tai Sarong represents the oceans and its fingota olesami or seafood. The Tamai Tai Samoan strive to fish and to hunt to provide not only for themselves, but for their families. This year's theme is a au le inailawa tamai tai. With contestant number four, Sarong Wea, it tells the story of a woman who can do good on her own. Polynesian women are looked down upon all over the Pacific <laughs> Islands or seen as weak. But women are the reasons for men's success. Samoan women go out for their comfort zone to be able to provide and protect the strength of a woman. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number four in her sarong wear. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome back on stage contestant number five for her sarong, Miss Penis Penicia Jade Hunkin Penny. lost loved ones to cancer and raise public awareness about cancer's widespread effects within the community. She strolls on the beach with her beautiful hand-printed sarong with pause to encourage and inspire our community to plant or pot a say pua tree. And that is to show support for those who are suffering from cancer and to benefit our environment. Ladies and gentlemen, her Pua Samoa Sarong is all about shining a light on all types of cancer and to honor those who have lost loved ones as she recently lost an uncle this year due to leukemia. The beautiful contestant number five, Pua Samoa. Penicia Jade Hunkin Penny.
Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and give these beautiful young ladies another big round of applause. At this time, family, friends, uh, we would like to welcome to the stage Miss Tali Goez. Ladies and gentlemen, how about another big round of applause for the lovely entertainer, Miss Tali Goez. Ladies and gentlemen, right now we would like to acknowledge our sponsors, so if you can just turn your attention to the screen. Thank you. Could we please dim the lights? All right, Faith, so I got a joke I want to tell you. Hopefully everybody thinks it's funny as well. Oh, no. Okay, so there, are, there were these three construction workers. Before I tell my joke, please do not get offended. If you are, I apologize right now. 
this is all for fun. So there are these three construction workers. One, an African-American. Second one, a Mexican. And third, a Samoan. So these three construction workers, they're working. The day goes on, lunch comes around. The uh, African-American opens his, his lunch. He sees it's fried chicken. He goes, man, if I get another fried chicken, I'm gonna jump off this building. The Mexican guy opens up his, his lunch and it's tacos. He goes, man, if I have tacos again, I'm gonna jump off this building. The Samoan opens up his lunchbox. Bisupo. He goes, man, if I have bisupo again, I'm gonna jump off the building. Day goes by, they get off work. Next day comes around, they're working. Lunchtime comes around. The African American opens up his lunchbox. Fried chicken jumps off the building. The Mexican opens up his lunchbox. Tacos jumps off the building. The Samoan opens up his lunchbox. Bisupo <laughs> jumps off the building. The management calls the families and uh, tells the wives to come over uh, and breaks the news to them. They go up to the African American's uh, wife and she, they're like, uh, are you okay, man? She's crying, 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 and she goes, if I knew he didn't want fried chicken, I would have made him something else. They go up to the Mexican lady. The Mexican lady's crying, crying, and she says, if I knew he, if I knew he didn't want tacos for lunch, I would have made him something else. The Samoan lady now, she's walking back and forth, pacing, just, she seems mad. The superintendent goes up to her and goes, ma'am, are you okay? The Samoan lady looks at him and goes, I don't know why he jumped off the building. He make his own lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess it was a good joke. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> Family and friends, please draw your attention to the video of our sponsors. Next, we have Malu Productions by Michelle Kama. 
Next up, we have Mr. Hawaii 2021. Next, we have the American Samoa government. Director Tuiafono Sua Jr. We have Punahele Suis. And lastly, we have Paimatina Sivafi. How about another big round of applause for our sponsors this evening? We want to thank each and every one of our sponsors for without them, this event would have not been possible with their contributions. Thank you. All right, lights. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we bring to you the third category. Our third category this evening takes a closer look at each contestant's God-given talents. The talent competition is an insight into the contestant's preparatory and performance skills. This particular category will be judged on the quality of the performance, technical skill level, stage presence, and the interest and entertainment value. Each talent routine shall not exceed three minutes in length. The highest score a contestant is able to receive per judge in this category is 20 points. Highest attainable combined score for this category is 100 points. A few things our audience should look out for. First, the selection of choice of talent and the quality of performance. Each Tosala should exhibit personality and skill in her performance. Music, voice, props, costume, and elite choreography are things you should keep a close eye on. Ladies and gentlemen, we begin this portion of the pageant with none other than contestant number one. Lights on, please. Contestant number one's talent this evening. Divine's talent is painting and a solo recitation of an original solo written by Sarah Isera. Divine discovered a new found love with painting during the pandemic lockdown. What started as a pastime activity turned into a new found passion. Divine will be painting a portrait and Divine's outfit was designed and sewn by Ms. Carmen San Diego, owner of CSD Couture. Let's give another round of applause for Divine's talent this evening. Tato 
我哋菲斯利，而家仔儿爱龙啊，而妈就话住，就一路放一下水路嘛。啊，我哋阿爸，我哋你做咩菜？咪攞嚟做饭啊，冇路路啊。我妈话：，咪炒话，一路发生个梦啊。我哋阿爸，我哋烧花，皮做肥啊，咩？那我咪咪炒阿花。我哋把你咪啊，做咩菜？冇冇啊，我啥冇啊。Let's give another round of applause for your contestant number one in the talent category, Miss Divine Mercy Suafia. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, I would like to call to the stage contestant number two, Zoe, Zoe Vaimanino Pomele. Contestant number two's talent, she will be singing a song. She just wants to be beautiful, she goes unnoticed, she knows no limit, she craves attention, she praises an image, she prays to be sculpted by the sculptor. I am at war with this illness that's eating at me from the inside out. You all see me as crazy, but fail to realize what I deal with on a daily. Because my mind is at battle with these voices hurting me from the inside and I just want out. It was a series of events that led me to this moment. I walk around with chains as if I'm a prisoner to my own mind. <sighs> if only you knew, but it feels like I gotta lay it out for you. All I want is for someone to hear me, an open ear so I can let it all out. Don't tell me that I'm okay or that this is just a phase cause none of you had a clue. Don't wait until it's too late. Depression, a constant feeling of sadness and loss of interest. We choose to argue about money and wealth and yet we throw this discussion up on a shelf. It's monumental for us to check our health, rise up and come together. This problem is real, let's talk. Mental health, our emotional, psychological, and social well being. She just wants to be beautiful, she goes unnoticed, she knows. No one, she craves attention, she praises an image, she prays to be sculpted by the sculptor. Oh, she don't.
and gentlemen, contestant number two, Ms. Zoe Vaimanino Pomele. At this time, we would like to welcome back on stage for her talent this evening. Contestant number three, give it up for the beautiful Miss Soraya Kealoha. Kealoha no. by your contestant number three, Miss Siraya Kealoha. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome to the stage contestant number four, Asofafzai, November, Timoteo. Contestant number four's talent is Sulatonga, learning the orientation to accompany the giving of Samoan fine mats. This particular Samoan custom is to recite it by women during the exchange of fine mats at a formal ceremonial or cultural events, such as traditional weddings, funerals, village cultural gatherings, with Sulatonga poems of different types. Ole Ietonga, Ole Messina Taualea Samoa, Efatino Aifa Ololonga Imaliu. Fai poi ponga, sao fai, mai si lava vae ngo le anganu. E yai ngoa tawa o fai ngoa i le tonga. 
e pei o le lau ta moi te fea, o le i e te talanga ta, o le matu pala pala le mali e tua na tō mai le tui manua, o le tū la ama le marasanya le te mai ta i sa moa, o le sunaina le o le i e tonga, pe ai lau foi le i e pe a fua mai, e ma malu ai le anga nu, e i loa i foi le te mai ta i sa moa, pe ai poto e sula le i e tonga, pusi mai lau fa a fonga. Ladies and gentlemen, please give another round of applause for contestant number four, Asfaftai November Timoteo. Also, we have a ranger that is blocking the entrance. Uh, we ask you to please move it or it will be towed. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome back on stage for her talent this evening, contestant number five, Panicia Jade Hunkin Penny. <laughs> contestant number five will be showcasing her family's Nafa by reenacting the legend of Nafa Nua. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back and relax as you learn about the goddess of war. To my tai, ole iyo mata o to tono aina. E fa tumu tumu ele anganga, ole tu angane lo na tu fufine. E tau si e pui pui ma ave iai me si si. E fa apia fo i ona tau tu ole tu fufine lo na tu angane. E fa alo alo ma le ba te kuai. I longa ma mana tu na tu ai. E fa timo mo le fa iai mo ai. Ai panga. Ya o fo ile ina lau o tamai ta e po tu o to a fo i taimi o le fo longa ile o langa nei e fa tu a i o te pe nga mo a i e to manga ile malosi ma le mai mai a o tamai ta i e to malosi ma le te ma a i ma fo fo a pa i a le pa i fu a fu a e tu li a wa a li yo a i. Ole po la inga lea sa pea si uleo i lo na fufine Le toa to mai tae Le toa na fwa ea inga ai a inga Ele manu maa loo, mai le tau 
Makule Salwa. Ladies and gentlemen, the legend of Nafanua. Il fallait nous pour savoir que there was a child born so prematurely. It resembled a blood clot. It was buried in the earth. The blood clot grew to a magnificent woman named Nafanua. Toa Tamaita. Who had an enormous strength of a hundred men. In the times of Nafanoa, the eastern and western side of Sawai engaged in a war for the land and title of the Sawai Islands. She was sent by her father, Sawai Sileo to war to avenge her uncle and bring peace to Samani. Courageous and heroic, Nafanu fought fearlessly and was impossible to stop until a wind blown upward lifted Nafanu's front cover. Tibuta revealing her prince. At this time of the war, the opposing men did not know they were fighting against one woman. They felt humiliated, resulting in the war to end immediately. After her victory, she returned to Fale Lumpo and celebrated. So, yeah. The legend of Nafanua. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for that beautiful reenactment by the beautiful contestant number five, Miss Penicia Jade Hunkin Penny. The Miss Samoa Hawaii organization believes strongly in supporting local and worldwide Samoan and Polynesian entrepreneurs. This evening, ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we feature a fashion show well equipped with your latest Polynesian attire. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an H3 Hummer and a Ford Ranger that is blocking the entrance. We ask you to please, or oh, the loading zone, we ask you to please move your car or it will be towed. Thank you very much. Now, please draw your attention to our lovely fashion show.
ladies and gentlemen, for Tab Fashion. A big round of applause for Tab Hawaii. Na, na, na. 
That to linger upon me Cause if this thing don't go as planned tonight I need you to tell me that this ain't the last time that I'm gonna see you yeah. And if this feeling's mutual Then give me a second Cause all I want you to know is that I need you Ladies and gentlemen, you put your hands together for these lovely models And beautiful Tab Hoy yeah. I can help this feeling On my way, this girl, I'm only here until the morning time. So I said, Bless your hand in mine. Swing your hips on my way. I promise there would be nobody else, yeah All I really want is for you to get busy with me, yeah At least before the time when the sun has it in your eyes Cause I can see myself in love Factuated by your touch, yeah Touch of a future On my way, this girl, I'm only here until the morning time. So I said, Bless your hand in mine. Swing your hips on my way, this girl, I'm only here until the morning girl, time. Bless your hand in mine. Swing your hips on my way. Family and friends, please put your hands together for the lovely Tav Hawaii. Man, for you doing that fashion show? I wish I had a chance to you know, be on there, but I don't think my body's made for that. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. my modeling days are over. Yeah, I used to be a model too when I was too bad. Our fourth category this our fourth category this evening showcases our beautiful tradition Lae Samo. There's a twist to it though. The Miss Samo Hawaii traditionally inspired wear was designed for the contestants to demonstrate her creativity. Furthermore, the actual traditional wear, not its value, should complement the contestants. The traditionally inspired attire must be created from traditional materials only. There must there be an be emphasis on the creativity and design in the original piece. Keep, Keep an eye out for your overall first look, creativity, creativity, uniqueness, as well as if, if it is displayed with grace, charisma, and confidence. The highest score a contestant is able to receive per judge in this category is 20 points. Highest attainable combined score for this category is 100 points. Ladies and gentlemen, we give to you Wa'u Ole Samoa, your traditionally inspired category. Lights off, please. Miss Divine Mercy Suafio, your contestant number one. Contestant number one's traditional wear was inspired by the unwavering strength of Nafanua and Timifu. The designs on this traditional wear are patterned and laid out to signify the widening path of courage. The Afa, a treasured building material made of braided coconut fibers, outlines the patterns representing Samoan women's strength, unity, and dexterity. The Tifa shell is smoothened and intricately placed at the bottom of her dress. This symbolizes the victorious feet of Nafanua and Tinifu. A headpiece resembling a twinger epitomizes a crown to embody the sacrifice of Nafanua and Tinifu as they have successfully persevered and completed their task. Finally, the adorning red feathers honor the blood, tears, and sweat shed to pave the way for generations to come. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you contestant number one, Miss Divine Mercy, 
to Aafia in her traditional wear. Divine's traditional wear was designed and assembled by the renowned designers of the House of Medici of Owa in American Samoa, Miss LaRonda Punao Medici Talea Eai, and Miss Isabella Amu Mangeo. How about another round of applause for your contestant number one, Miss Divine Mercy Suafia. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me. Welcome to the stage, contestant number two, Zoe Vaimanino Pomele. Nafatasi Creations is wearing a modern design cape using traditional Samoan fabric, the Ua Siapo, professionally hand-painted with Samoa's coconut tree. In Samoa, the coconut tree has often been called the tree of life. Perhaps more than any single plant, the coconut tree is the most useful of all plants. It has helped sustain life in the Samoan islands. Easily cultivated, highly adaptive, and stalwart. Nearly every part of the plant could be used by the islanders. The trunk, leaves, mid-ribs, husk, husk fibers, shells, and nuts themselves were all utilized for sustenance. The coconut has over a thousand uses and throughout generations it has played a key part in the daily living of our country, Samoa, and its beautiful people. As Miss Ngafatasi Creation removes her traditional cape, she brings to you her beautiful and elegant two-piece coconut shell dress, Pulitasi. This dress represents our modern day style. It also has highlights the modern ways that we have embraced. The lining of her dress is made out of white siapo, which is the bark of a paper mulberry tree scrape, soaked, softened, hand-beaten, and pressed. On the outer layer of the ua, lining is a professionally decorated with hundreds of dark coconut cuttings sewn individually on the upper and lower part covering her whole dress. Seashells, coconut leaves, bark, and husk afa are also used to complement her dress. As Zoe graces us eloquently in her traditional inspired wear, we are reminded of the legend Sina and the eel. This eel symbolically clinging on her attire is the same way we cling, cling to our culture and Christian values. Our culture and Christian values are the fabric of our unique Samoan society. Zoe's attire is completed with a headpiece, earrings, necklace, and arm bracelets all made of the same natural materials.
Zoe's dress, designed and constructed by Talafa Mosili Uli of Ngafatasi Creations, original style. Once again, family and friends, contestant number two, Zoe Vaimanino Pomele. At this time, we would like to welcome back on stage your lovely contestant number three, Soraya Kealoha. Presentation of our La E Samoa created by Sina. The beautiful layers reflect beauty and power of Samoan women as dutiful daughters, sisters, aunties, and wives who keep the harmony within the Ainga and their villages. A reminder of the grace that we walk with every day in our lives. Like the Samoan proverb, Eau, Leina Ilau, Otsamaitai. When women come together, all things are possible. This is a modern cultural representation of our La E Samoa. The Siapo Ele are given as traditional gifts as the Siapo Ele, which has been passed down from generation to generation in Siraya's Ainga. The pieces placed on her left shoulder is a reminder to always wear her heart on her shoulder and all that she does. Her family hails from both Aasu and Nuuli. Nuuli is known for the beautiful waterfalls which are represented in this piece with its cascading back. The train follows her footsteps as a reminder that her ancestors are always behind her in her life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give another round of applause for the beautiful contestant number three, Miss Saraya Kealoha. Kira's beautiful dress was made by the talented native Hawaiian designer Project Runway All-Star alum, Kini Zamora. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome back contestant number four, Asofafzai November Timoteo.
Ladies and gentlemen, your contestant number four, traditional wear, is traditionally inspired by the goddess and female warrior, Nafanua. Contestant number four, Ufi Ufi, is the siapo to symbolize the true nature of a tamaitai, embellished with nothing but plain beauty, signifying the true beauty of history, obligation, and recognition of a tamaitai. As of Afetai's second look is made out of Ietonga and Laufala to symbolize the source of women's identity. At the bottom of her traditional wear stands a coconut tree designed with Afa and Fulufulumoa. The Afa signifies its true meaning, strength of a Tamaitai whose legacy is that of a total achievement. The Fulufulumoa lies as the coconut front, symbolizing our ancestral lineage of strong Tamaitai. And at the top, it's designated as a corset, embellished with kifa shells, laufala, and outlined with afa. Around Asufafitai's whole wear, from top to bottom, is beautified with white shells and outlined with laufala to signify the significant role of its Tamaitai. of contestant number four. Where is enriched with shells, outlined with siapo, and gracefully touched with afa from her left side to the bottom. The shells all around us of Afetai, where it signifies courage and wisdom of a Tamaitai. Her whole wear symbolizes Tamaitai in a given opportunity to make the change with the courage, strength, and pride that she holds. Watato wa o ai nei le faliseu, masau i ma o malie. O noi te to matavela malie fa long long o tinga o le nei foi te mai tai. E mo ni ai upu, e au le nei lau o te mai tai. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, your contestant number four, Asofa Fetai, November Timoteo. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome back on stage contestant number five, Miss Panicia Jade Hunkin Penny for her traditionally inspired wear. Otomaitai, ole iyo mata o totomo a inga, e fa tumutumu ili anganga, ole tu angane lo. Family and friends. Please bear with us. We're having some technical difficulties, but as of right now, we just want to acknowledge one of our special guests who was able to make it uh, from his gig. If you could please stand up so we can acknowledge him, the Mr. Josh Totofi. So 
So Faith, uh, I was at Josh's show on Friday, last week Friday. Man, I was trying to, you know, I was singing along with him, but he started hitting these notes where my voice started breaking. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave it to Josh. So Josh, you the man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for contestant number five, Miss Panicia Jade Hunkin Penny. Contestant number five's traditionally inspired wear is entitled Toa Tamaitai, Warrior Princess. Contestant number five, Toa Tamaitai traditional wear was inspired by her Ngafa ancestors from the village of Falealupo of a woman known throughout Samoa as Toa Tamaitai, goddess of war named Nafanua. It is to remind, inspire, and empower women to be courageous with dignity and strength by faith and bringing peace in her home and village. The Toa Tamaitai traditional wear is made of siapo, also known as tapa, which is the bark of a paper mulberry tree, handmade from her ancestors of Falealupo. The siapo is a symbol of bravery and her Samoan culture. The launiu, or coconut husk, is hand braided individually for her strength. The mother of pearl shells is to attract prosperity and her motherly protection from negative energy and love. The Lao Ti, or tea leaf, signifies her healing powers. The nature of the Toa Tamaitai traditional wear symbolizes empowerment and promoting a woman's sense of worth with her daily battles that she faces in life. Ladies and gentlemen, with her traditionally inspired wear, please give another round of applause for your contestant number five, the beautiful Miss Panicia Jade Hunkin Penny. And that does it for our uh, traditionally inspired wear. Ladies and gentlemen, Please help me welcome to the stage for your entertainment, Eden Uihara from Laie, Hawaii.
Another big round of applause for the beautiful Eden. Eden Siva this evening is dedicated to her grandfather and his journey to his Songite Miti. Thank you, Eden. Thank you very much, Miss, Mrs. Joy Satele. She is one of the uh, board members for the Miss Samo Hawaii. Yeah. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome back to the stage, Hiramoni. Fuyaba. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Harimoni Fuyaba.
faithfulness. Oh, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hands have provided. How about a big round of applause for the awesome Mr. Hiramoni Fuyava. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as we move on to our last category, this category is the onstage question. Our last and final category this evening is our, on, our stage interview. The stage interview demonstrates the contestant's ability to project her interest opinions, and aspirations. The contestant is being judged on her answers to the questions only. Keep in mind, we are not judging if her answers align with your personal point of view. One question is asked of the contestants and the answer must be given within 60 seconds. The highest score, is it, the highest score a contestant is able to receive per judge is 20 points. Highest attainable combined score for this category is 100 points. We begin with contestant number one. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back on stage the beautiful Miss Divine Mercy Suafia, your contestant number one. Divine Mercy Suafio is the eldest child of Mr. Pio Afio and Mrs. Matalima Suafio. Divine proudly represents her villages Afonotele, Fangaima, Alofau, Leone, and Aua in American Samoa, as well as Moata'a and Lauli'i of Samoa.
she also proudly represents her family in new way. Divine was born in American Samoa and was raised by her paternal grandmother, Imeleta Afia, until her family moved to Hawaii in 2011. She graduated from Kapolei High School, class of 2021. She is currently a full-time caregiver to her maternal grandmother, Faalupe Sua and she enjoys taking care of her. She begins her day with their daily rosary, followed by breakfast, hair and makeup, then lunch, an appointment or nap time, and finally, evening prayer and dinner. Divine is a parish member of St. Jude's Catholic Church in Kapolei, and she is also a member of the Uso Falofani Car Club. Divine is 18 years old, and she possesses the qualities of generosity and mindfulness. She has an innate passion to care for others and help others. She plans to further her education, majoring in nursing. Divine's platform is youth suicide. Divine plans to keep the conversation going about youth suicide prevention. Her final message tonight for the Samoan youth in Hawaii, if you are having suicidal thoughts and behaviors or know someone who is struggling with suicide, please call the National Suicide Hotline, 1-800-273-8255. That number is 1-800-273-8255. They are available 24 seven and they are completely confidential. Please stay on the line. Divine's gown was designed and sewn by Miss Carmen San Diego, owner of CSD Couture. Ladies and gentlemen, give another round of applause for your beautiful contestant number one, Miss Divine Mercy Sua Afia. Before you select your question, I just want to ask how's tonight going? Oh, tonight's going good. I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. Awesome. Please select your question. Contestant number one has selected question 15. What is the biggest mistake you have ever made in your young life? What have you done to overcome it? The biggest mistake is repeating the same mistake. <laughs> if you repeat the same mistake, you won't grow and you won't go anywhere, right? Thank you. How about a big round of applause for your contestant number one? Fatsai Lava contestant number one, Miss Divine Mercy Sua Fia. Before we move on to our next contestant this evening, we would like to acknowledge Ms. Michelle Kama. If you are in the audience, please rise for recognition. Well, I guess she's like Josh. She came late. Okay, are you ready to introduce the contestant number two, Mona? 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage contestant number two, Miss Zoe Vaimanino Pomele. Ms. Zoe Vaimanino Pomele was born and raised in Kalihi and currently resides in Eva, Hawaii with her family. She is 18 year old and graduated from Waipaho High School, class of 2021. She is the proud daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Zenis and Eleanor Vaimanino Pomele from the beautiful villages of Motaa, Samoa, and Ta'u Fitiuta Imanuatele, American Samoa. Born into a Samoan family, Zoe learned early that family was the most important part of life. And then the importance of our culture and Christian values, which is the fabric of our unique Samoan society. Zoe attends church regularly and is a member of the Victory Outreach Hawaiian Islands. She is also a member of the Praise and Worship Team and the Youth Group Gang, God's Anointed Now Generation. Zoe has a passion for her culture, its language, and the Samoan Siva. She also enjoys singing, Bible study, outreach, and spending time with family. Zoe's goals are to attend college, further her education, and get her degree in mental health counseling. Zoe aspires to make a difference in our Samoan community as well as the world by bringing awareness to mental health in the areas of PSD, anxiety, and depression that can ultimately lead to suicide. She believes that she can make a much needed difference to help each person with these types of mental illness disorders. Break the silence, break the stigma. At this time, Zoe would like to thank God for everything because through him, all things are possible. She would also like to thank her family and friends for the love and support throughout this journey. She would also like to thank her sponsor, Ngafatasi Creations Original Style, for keeping her well-dressed and looking her best always. Thank you, Miss Samoa Hawaii Committee, for this opportunity and hosting such a great pageant. Lastly, she would like to thank her pageant sisters for everything, and she wants to wish all of them the best of luck. And also to let them know that she loves all of them very much. Her dress was designed and constructed by Tala Fatma Usiliuli of Ngafatasi Creations Original Style. Ladies and gentlemen, please give another round of applause for your contestant number two, Miss Zoe Raimanino Pomele. Miss Zoe, before we pick your question, how has this whole process been for you? Not just tonight, but leading up to this event, how has it been? Well, it was really nerve-wracking, <laughs> but I just want to thank God and my family for making this whole thing possible and supporting me so that I can have a wonderful time. Thank you. Awesome. Please select your question. Contestant number two has selected number nine. 
What does it mean when Samoan folks say, you know a true Tamaita'i Samoa by the way she walks, talks, and carries herself? A true Samoan young lady is known by the way she walks, talks, and carries herself. My grandma has always told me this. She, it means to me that she walks with grace and humility, and she is representing her family well. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number two, Ms. Zoe Vaimanino Pomelo. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back on stage the lovely contestant number three, Ms. Saraya Kealoha. Matalasi Nahi and Ena Keloha was born in Honolulu, Hawaii, daughter of Zach and Teresa Ioane Keloha. Graduated into a pandemic and deep recession, Saraya continues to thrive by finding employment to help her family navigate through these hard times because of her experiences through these struggles. She also had to commit herself to one of the largest homeless agencies in the state of Hawaii. Saraya is currently working with the outreach department of the of the Institute of Human Service in collaboration with the Honolulu Police Department and community outreach team. Saraya assists homeless individuals with several different services to help pull them out of the struggles she was once in. Saraya's passion for the population she serves is influenced by her past and guided by her parents' perseverance. Saraya plans to start a charitable organization whose goal is to help the homeless shelters in other countries as well as in Hawaii and Samoa. Saraya Kealoha wants to impact as many lives as she can through the blood of Jesus and the word of her testimony, which is explained in Revelations chapter 12, verse 11. Ladies and gentlemen, give another round of applause for your lovely contestant number three, Saraya Kealoha. Ms. Sarai, before you pick your question, I just want to ask, if there is one thing you could take away from this whole process, what would it be? One thing I would take is um, all the happiness and all the love that I got from my sisters. It was a very good it was a very good experience. Awesome. Please select your question. <laughs> Contestant number three has selected question number two. The Samoan language is vital to the sustainability of our Samoan people. What would you do? as the Miss Samo Hawaii in order to keep our Samoan language alive here in Hawaii. Okay. As a Miss Samo Hawaii, I would say that the solution is to the parents, to the grandparents, 
it is best to teach them from when they're born. And also, they should have more Samoan schools in churches. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number three, Miss Soraya Kealoha. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome back on stage contestant number four, the lovely Miss Asofafatai November Timo Teo. Asofafatai November Timo Teo. Contestant number four dedicates her Miss Samoa Hawaii journey to Cheyenne Sanitoa. Long live Cheyenne Sanitoa, number 41. Contestant number four would like to showcase a drive-by that was joined by sponsors, family, friends, and church members in celebration of Suicide Awareness Week on September 5th to September 11th. Supporting fighters, admiring the survivors, honoring the taken, Stay, your story is not over. Give it up for your contestant number four, Miss Asofafitai, November Timoteo. This is Bobby Stephanie, president for Solid Tribe 808 Park Club. Uh, we are Solid Tribe 808 Dub Nation up in uh, Washington. Suicide is a subject that shouldn't be taken lightly and requires a lot of attention. Know that we are here for you, that I am here for you, and that you are worth more than you can ever imagine. <laughs> To remind you that the emotions you're feeling is only temporary, so stay, your story is not over. Stay, your story is not over. So stay, because your story is not over. Stay, your story is not over. Stay, your story is not over. And stay, because your story is not over. Ms. Asafafatai, before you select your questions, since I've been asking all the other contestant questions, uh, for the future contestants, what is something that you would tell them about this whole process? For the future contestants, I would say to stay humble and don't stress. It's all worth it at the end. And, and it takes a village, and I have my village. and choose your village. <laughs> Please select your question. She has selected question number 12. 
Question number 12 is, what is one change you would like to see in our Samoa? One change that I would like to see in our Fa Samoa way is the burden giving in Fa Lavi Lavis. Thank you. Once again, Ms. Asafaftai, November Timote. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting to the conclusion of this category. Please help me welcome back on stage the lovely contestant number five, Panicia Jade Hunkin Penny. The lovely Panicia Jade Hunkin Penny graduated from Sacred Hearts Academy, class of 2021. She graduated with a full ride scholarship for both volleyball and academics. Panicia was also a part of the National Honor Society. And tonight, as your contestant number five, she is majoring in biochemistry and surgical technology, where she plans to receive her medical degree and become an orthopedic surgeon. Panicia's passion is her love for dancing. She currently dances for Malu Productions. She is a proud youth leader for her church, and she also plans to improve someone's healthcare and infrastructure. Her main sponsor tonight is Waimea Urgent Care. Ladies and gentlemen, your beautiful contestant number five, Miss Panicia Jade Hunkin Penny. So, before you pick your question, I would just like to ask, um, as, my for, as my colleague has said, as a college student coming home, I know um, this whole process has probably been very time, time constrained. Uh, what is something that you, the positive thing that you take away from it? As a college student, I take away that I'm very grateful for what I have. The time with my family, I appreciate it. Because you never know when your loved one is going to pass. Because of COVID standards and COVID restrictions, I can't see my family as much as I do. But for more more la tour, put God first, and so on. Thank you. Please select your question. She has selected number eight. As a Samoan, how can we make this world a better place to live in? As a Samoan, we can make a better place to live in by giving equal opportunity to both females and males. For example, in the military, I feel that Samoan women are just equally as powerful as Samoan men. We are equal, we are Samoan, we are Samoa. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number five, Ms. Penisha Penn. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, your Miss Samoa Hawaii 2021 contestants. Another big round of applause for each of the beautiful ladies tonight. Thank you. We would like to thank the judges for their time and efforts this evening. Please give them another great round of applause. As the scrutineers prepare the final scores and outcome, we would like to take this opportunity to invite our reigning Miss Samoa Hawaii, Miss Zaina Vera Mualam, to the stage.
another round of applause for our reigning Miss Samoa Hawaii, Miss Zaina Vera Mola. Oleasu male fa amui mui, ile a fifi o mai maleta la mai ao, ile mamalu ole ao fia. Se a ea se loto e fai, pe ana fa atia lo sa ile ala. Ta to momoli la ia o le fa fta ile atua, ono alona alofa, o ta to feiloa ia ile langi e mama. Malesoi fua manuia, ta alofa, ta alofa, ta alofa lava. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us this evening for the 2021 Miss Samoa Hawaii pageant. After two years in which we've all struggled with COVID-19, I'm glad to finally be here to pass the baton to our next Miss Samoa Hawaii and keep celebrating our Samoan culture together. As your current Miss Samoa Hawaii, I have to say that the past two years have been challenging, not only because empowering women and spreading time to service and culture has been beyond difficult due to COVID restrictions, but also because the global crisis unleashed by the pandemic has moved in a very deep and personal level. As most of you know, I'm a third year pre-med bio major student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, who aims to soon become a doctor who fights against heart disease. In this sense, watching my people at risk with the virus threatening our physical and emotional health further encouraged me to study medicine, and that's why I believe that as a Samoan woman, I have a lot to contribute to our community. As I finish my services as Miss Samoa Hawaii, I'm now ready to keep on positively serving and influencing our community, because this is what I believe the honor of being the Miss is about. It's about giving back to our community. It's about praising our most valuable traditions and keeping them alive for future generations. It's about taking care of the needed ones so they can be safe no matter how challenging the context may be. It's about feeling empowered as women that we can create an impact, a positive impact. It's about sharing the gold in our hearts with our people to see our culture shine in all of its splendor. So today, to all of the Miss Samoa Hawaii 2021 candidates, I wanna remind you what you do while you hold this honor matters. It will matter. If chosen, you will play a fundamental role in our community. A role that demands empathy, selflessness, humility, a strong sense of community, and a strong love for our culture and for our people. To the next mist, I trust that you will continue hard working, working hard to enhance our culture. I trust that you will continue being brave, creative, and innovative. I trust that you'll work at the top of your capacities to represent every Samoan woman. I trust you will make our community proud. Enjoy the journey and best of luck. I would like to thank the director and CEO, Manu Samoa Henry Satsuraka, and also every board member of the Miss Samoa Hawaii organization. Thank you for allowing me the platform to grow as an individual and for an experience of a lifetime. And to my family and everyone who's given me the support for the past two years, thank you. I love you guys. We love you too. <laughs> and also, I'd like to give a shout out to um, Ari Le Couture for this gown, for sponsoring this gown. Thank you. Anyways, um, the ultimate praise and recognition is for God. And in Arabic, we say Alhamdulillah. To wrap up my speech, I would like to say a few words in Arabic which is my father's native tongue. Ya hayu ya qayyum, bi rahmatika astaghith, aslih li sha'ni kullahu, wa la takilni ila nafsi tarfata ayn. Ila abu waya wa a'ilati, ashkurkum ala al-hubbi wa al-da'ma al-ladhi qaddam tamuli. Khilal al-a'amayn al-madhiyin, a'inda masbahtu malika jamal Samoa Hawaii. Being Miss Samoa Hawaii was a true honor, an honor that I will never forget. Soifua.
Ladies and gentlemen, how about another big round of applause for your Miss Samoa Hawaii, Miss Zaina Vera Mwalem. At this time, Miss Samoa Hawaii will take her last walk down the stage as Miss Samoa Hawaii.
DJ from Mole Tama, Sipis, say Sasa, to the Lalale, Miss Samo Hawaii, Miss Zaina Vera Mwalem. Miss Samo Hawaii, Miss Zaina Vera Mwalem. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give another round of applause for our lovely Miss Samo Hawaii, Miss Zaina Vera Mwalem. On behalf of the, the Miss Samo Hawaii pageant organization, its board members, and our Samoan community, we would like to extend a warm fa'afitai and fa'amalo to our current Miss Samoa Hawaii for your service. We are assured that the good Lord will be with you from this point forward. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Awala wala tau tua mo tato tangata ai mai sele fininga lo lo tato wali fatai. Ladies and gentlemen, how about another big round of applause for our Miss Samoa Hawaii, Miss Zaina Vera Mualam.
At this time, we would like to call back to the stage all of our lovely contestants. Please help me welcome back on stage contestant number one, the beautiful Miss Divine Mercy Suafia. Contestant number two, the beautiful Miss Zoe Vaimanino Pomel. Another round of applause for contestant number three, the beautiful Miss Saraya Keloha. Another big round of applause for contestant number four, Asafatai November Timote. And lastly, let's give a big round of applause for your beautiful contestant number five, Miss Panicia Jade Hunkin Penny. Aren't they just so beautiful? How about you give them another round of applause? As our scrutineers put together their final tallies this evening, I just wanted to just take this time to not only say congratulations to each contestant. It's not a very easy task to do. It's very challenging to have the, the uh to get up and showcase it in front of everyone. It's very cliche when people say that you guys are all winners, but you guys are, each and every one of you. Give them another big one. I am... Um, okay, here we go with the honors. It's good to hear that one of you guys to hurry up because I only can say so much. I am the current president of the Samoa when you guys want to sign up and then you start to ask off. When we talk about um, pageants such as these, we think that uh, it's the Miss, and nothing against Miss Hawaii, or nothing against other pageants, but Samoan pageants are very different. It's so culturally based, it's very rooted in our nu'u, mutsatongana, I may say, yalifa Samoa. It also takes so much people to make something like this happen. I was just telling these young ladies last night that when we put together pageants, it's really not about me, it's not about the board members, it's not about our distinguished judges who have like extensive resumes, it's not even about everyone here because Samoan pe people, we don't believe in ourselves, we believe in everybody else, we make sure it's everybody, right? We're communal in that sense. If I eat, you eat. That's how we work, right? So we want to just say thank you. Thank you to everyone who has helped in any which way possible, from the kills, from the draping. If you guys only seen before we got up here, oh my Lord, it was four o'clock. I was like, guys, <laughs> the, the backdrop is not up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I say all of those things to say that I too am truly grateful. I love, to put our com I love to put things together where I can see our communities come together. government office. Otato Fana Uma Ne O Tui Famasino, Moliatuli and Anga Faftai, Murifat Mado. It was told Manat to my foot, or Leo Fae, or told Nefa my moy ne of Yafi. A little teller as a upu, South Time Yon Fa or Toila, you say Leo, Alea Nanga, or Lea Nanga Faftai. And I also want to take this time to thank everyone in this room from our elders, our moms, our da everybody's auntie, everybody's mama, everybody's papa, auntie, cousin, we're all. Scrutineers, move faster. I'm standing up here, okay? Pretty soon, I'm gonna sing one song and then I'm gonna tell Josh Totofi, come and sing with me. 
And just for the record, Josh, you can pick up your lay on the way out because you came late. <laughs> I'm just kidding, my brother. Everybody, give him a big round of applause. Josh, thank you so much for, for joining us. Have you guys seen all the sponsors that was up here? We had 36 sponsors. From the Polynesian Culture Center to Tihati Productions to everyone. Everybody puts a little bit in and we get these kind of events that promote our true Samoan love for our people. Not our fall of love is, sometimes our fall of love is, but not all the time. Okay. Okay. The judges' scores are in. We ask that everyone please remain respectful as we read the results. Could we get a song just for now? Sorry. Applause for these lovely contestants, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are just um, waiting for two of the categories for now. Um, so. I don't have a story to tell you guys. Um, I only was asked to have two in my pocket, so right now I'm just going off the top of my head. Um, so, when, I would ask Josh Tofi to sing, but um, probably, yeah. <laughs> Go. And from this place we have Josh, would you like to grace us with your presence? All right, family and friends, we've gotten all the results in, so uh, <laughs> thank you for bearing with us. Uh, we begin with our special categories first. Your Miss Congeniality was voted upon by each contestant. This individual will have displayed promptness, likability, service, and humbleness throughout all pageant events and appearances. The winner of this special category wins a cash prize of $200. Ladies and gentlemen, your Miss Congeniality is contestant number three, Soraya Kello. <laughs> One more time, a round of applause for contestant number three, Miss Soraya Kealoha, our Miss Congeniality. We have moved to our judge categories and begin with our pre-pageant interview. 
The contestant that wins this category will receive a cash prize of $200. And she will also be getting a gift certificate to Missing Polynesia. Ladies and gentlemen, your pre pageant interview winner with a total score of 163 points is contestant number five, <laughs> Miss Polynesia J. Duncan Penny. Another big round of applause for Miss Panicia Jade Hunkin Penny. Your second judge category this evening is your sarong wear. The winner of this category will receive a cash prize of $200 and a gift certificate from Missing Polynesia. Ladies and gentlemen, your sarong category winner this evening with a total score of 90 points is contestant number three, Miss Saraya Kealoha. forward with our third judge category, the talent portion. The winner of this category will receive a $200 cash prize. Ladies and gentlemen, your talent category winner with a total combined score of 93 points is contestant number four, <laughs> Asafas Tan November Timotel. The traditionally inspired wear is your fourth judged category. The winner of this category will receive a cash prize of $200 as well as a gift certificate for Missing Polynesia. The winner of this category with a total combined score of 96 points is contestant number five, Miss Panicia Jade Hunkin Penny. Our last and final category is your on-stage interview. The winner of this category will receive a cash prize of $200. Ladies and gentlemen, your stage interview category winner this evening with a total combined score of 91 total points is contestant number five, Panicia <laughs> J. Arkin Penny. Ladies and gentlemen, that completes our category winners. Another round of applause for the beautiful ladies. And now it is that time that we have all been waiting for. Before we move to the total winner, um, 
The People's Choice Award is based off of internet voting that was done on Facebook and Instagram. The winner will receive a cash prize of $200. Ladies and gentlemen, your People's Choice Award goes to contestant number one with a total score of 245, 2,457, Miss Divine Mercy Sua Afia. Again, that completes our category, winners. Another round of applause for our beautiful ladies this evening. And now, it is that time we have all been waiting for, your Miss Samoa Hawaii standings. For your awareness, our newly crowned Miss Samoa Hawaii will receive the following prizes. A cash prize of $5,000. 300 TAV gift certificate, photo session with Poly Exposures, two nights stay at the residence in Kapolei, custom pulatasi by Puna Helisoist, fire knife from Siva Afi Company, American Crown by Miss North Shore, a taupo painting from Brazen Culture, Gickley painting from Cap, Cap Artwork, a Lopa neck piece, an earring set from Loa, and a basket valued at $2,500 containing Polynesian accessories from Loa, MAC makeup from Jump for Love Hawaii, three EA Lava Lavas from Loa, Missing Polynesian, and JKW LLC, a women's tea from the Village Hawaii, a pearl necklace and matching bracelet by Tawivi, new hand-painted earrings set by Missing Polynesian, mother of pearl new bowls by JKW LLC, a makeup purse by Puna Helisoist, Earring set by Kaulana Jewelry, sarong and clutch by Missing Polynesia, a beach tote from JKW LLC, and various earrings, statement neck pieces, and belts from Missing Polynesian, and uh, Missing Polynesia, and a Tahitian pearl jewelry set. Oh, that is a lot, Mona. <laughs> Each of our runner-ups will receive a basket containing Polynesian accessories from Loa, Mac makeup from Jump for Love Hawaii. Three Ia Lava Lavas from Loa, Missing Polynesia, and JKW LLC. Women's Tea from the Village Hawaii. A pearl necklace and matching bracelet by Tawivi. New hand painted earring set by Missing Polynesia. Mother of Pearl New Bowls by JKW LLC. Makeup purse by Puna Hele Soist. Earring set by Kaulana Jewelry. Sarong and clutch by Missing Polynesia. A beach tote from JKW LLC and various earrings, statement neck pieces, and belt from Missing Polynesia. You ready, Mona? Let us now go to our standing, and we begin with our fourth runner-up. Your fourth runner-up this evening will win a cash prize of $500 and a basket valued of $2,000. With a total combined score of 431 points, your fourth runner-up tonight is contestant number three, Miss Sarai Kealoha. Another great round of applause for our fourth runner-up, Ms. Soraya Kelo. Your third runner-up will also receive a cash prize of $500 and a basket valued at $2,000. Your third runner-up this evening with a total combined score of 476 points is contestant number one 
Miss Divine Mercy Sua Afia. for Miss Divine Mercy Suafi. Oh. Your second runner-up this evening will receive a cash prize of $1,000 and a basket valued at $2,000. Your second runner-up this evening with a total combined score of 484.5 is none other than contestant number two, Miss Zoe Vaimanino Pomeli. And now, we are down to the final two. Who will be our new Miss Samoa 2021-2022? With this said, for any reason, if the winner is unable to fulfill her duties as the newly Miss, the first runner-up will be crowned the new Miss Samoa Hawaii and resume Miss Samoa Hawaii 2021-2022 responsibilities and duties as put forth by the Miss Samoa Hawaii organizations. The first runner-up will receive a cash prize of $2,000, a TAV gift basket worth of $400 that contains a purse, clutch, and various TAV accessories, as well as a basket valued at $2,000. We will give you the scoring now. The winner received a total combined score of 528 total points. The first runner-up received a total combined score of 499 total points. Yes. <laughs> Just trying to build up the suspense. <laughs> With a point difference of 29, your first runner up this evening is contestant number four, Asofafzai November Timote. Ladies and gentlemen, your new Miss Samoa Hawaii 2021-2022 is contest contestant number five, Miss Panisha Jade Hunkin Penny. Oti hati 
Please take your first walk down the aisle as our Miss Samoa Hawaii 2021-2022 contestant number five, Kanisha Penner. DJ Sauni Miss Tato Pesia is a Sasa Atsu, the Tau Sala Lalele, Miss Samoa Hawaii, Lua Felua Tasi, Lua Felua Lua, Miss Penicia Jade Hunkin Penny. Please drive home safe. Soy Vua. 